Thank you, Renaud. Thank you for having me. Uh, my, my reflections uh, is uh, about matching. I think uh, that is, Matteo, as you mentioned, uh, matching on a European level is, is what we have been doing on local, very local level here in, in Aura. We have uh, only 11,000 uh, inhabitants and we have received uh, the last couple of years uh, approximately 600 refugees. And so, sorry, how much time do I have? You have to turn on your mic, I think, Renault. <laughs> uh, ten, 10 minutes. OK, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so what we have basically been doing is, is uh, we have been matching on a local level and I can I can address that uh, for you. So you get a picture of how this has been working in a, in a small municipality in, a, in northern Sweden. <clears throat> so as you can see here, we have uh, now approximately 11,800 inha inhabitants. It's a vastly populated area in the northern Sweden. We are uh, heavily rely on the tourism industry. Uh, so we also have a labor market that is very suitable for people with uh, lower education and we also have a labor market with uh, a lot of works in the public sector for instance schools and er elderly care and in that section we have also had a lot of immigrants coming and working so what we have been doing is we have uh, set up a system for uh, introducing uh, people on the labor market uh, we when we started to receive immigrants in a, in a greater scale in 2011-12, we, we, we saw that all the immigrants were moving to the, the big cities, uh, mainly Stockholm on, and other areas. So we had to create a system, uh, as you can see in, in the bottom section of the, of the picture here, uh, where we provide safety, then comfort, and then the opportunity to stay. And uh, if you're going to stay somewhere, you have to to have uh, the possibility of, of earning your money and, and uh, finding work in order to, to find yourself uh, able to to plan for the future and for your kids to, to grow up there. So uh, we soon discovered that we had to make make a, a plan for how, how do we create this? So what we did is we we actually we looked at uh, the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and we and we basically we put put a lot of time in the bottom section of that triangle. I'm sure you know of it. In the physical, you have to have an apartment where you feel safety, and you have to trust um, the authorities. The authorities in Sweden are here to help you. Uh, you often come from backgrounds where the authorities have not been helpful. And so we try to emphasize that in the beginning. We're help, here to help you and provide a system for you that that uh, in two years time. Uh, will will. Hopefully you will be working and all, all that we do in this time is to prepare you for for that in two years you have to be self sufficient. So we put a lot of time in the in the early stages and provide comfort, social networks. Uh, uh, we discover that uh, what people lack when they when they come is really the networks. So we provide that for them, introduce you to networks both uh, professionally and in your spare time. Uh, so you can take the next picture. And uh, what we what we emphasize a lot is looking to the future. Uh, we know of your past, but we don't have to dwell on it too long. Uh, if you want to talk, we can uh, listen, but we look to the future and uh, uh, we try to help uh, families to uh, reunite because we see that if, if you're thinking about your, your children's uh, well-being all the, all the time, you, you're not able to, to learn Swedish or do especially well at your work. So we have to, to help the immigrants with that basic needs. 
and then we can move forward. So we can take the next picture. And that is, of course, learning the language and learning that uh, we, we really demand that you partic participate in the society, that you work and we validate your, your school, your previous schooling and uh, give you an opportunity to, as Matteo was talking a lot about matching. So we have people uh, in, our, in our municipality staff that are experts in matching. They know all of, of the companies in the municipality. As you saw in my early picture there, we have 2000 companies and we are only a little bit short of 12,000 inhabitants. So as you can imagine, there are a lot of small companies here. Uh, so we have to know them and know their needs and we have to match the right immigrant to the right work. And because if we do wrong matching, that uh, owner of the company won't call us the next time. And it will be a, a huge setback for the immigrant if, if we fail. So the matching is really, really key here. Uh, we also have to be prestigious in a cooperation with the um, other uh, governmental authorities. Uh, always think the best for the individual, uh, not for us. It's not important. The, the, the most important thing is that the individual always get the right matching to, to the right working place. We set up a system and, and uh, as you know, in Sweden we have two years and time in, in uh, after that you have to be self-sufficient and then we put a, uh, a small number of, of practices where you try different work and you try to learn Swedish um, at the working place. We keep those um, tryouts really short so that uh, the, the employer and the employee can, can validate what was good, what was not so good, what you have to, to learn in, in, in Sweden in Swedish. <laughs> so um, that is really important that we we um, always match for for the right the, the right job and to keep our uh, uh, em employers happy so that uh, the people coming there are motivated and will do a, will do a good job. And mainly we've been successful in that we have and uh, these years, if we take from 2011, we have approximately 600 immigrants coming and 500 approximately are still living here. Uh, uh, between 80 and 90 percent of the, uh, de depending on how you count, are working today. So we're really proud of that and, and uh, we're proud that the immigrants like it here and, and are planning for a future here. Thank you.